Hey, Mo, we need to get an intro down for this channel, you know. Yeah, but what are you thinking, Lee? Why don't I rap over the top of it? Don't be ridiculous. You sound like a northern M&M. Look, listen to me. Yo, yo, yo. The munch brunch in the hoose, man. Absolutely not. Right, what you got in mind? Let's just keep it simple. I'm Lee. I'm A. They wear the munch brunch. Enjoy. Hello. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another mukbang with Aim and Lee. How are we doing, guys? We are. What's on the menu today, Lee? Uh, Tonight, ke more mixed more. kebab, mixed kebab meat. That's uh, kebab meat and chicken meat, chicken tikka, I think it is, you know, and chips, and some beer, and Aim's on the wine, and we've had a few of these, so this is a last minute okay. order. Okay, so this is a drunk bang. Yeah. This is a drunk bang. We were all we thought we'd do a drunk bang with you guys. We were by choice. We decided to order the food and thought, shoot, better set up and record. Mm. We have There's no kebab, problem, some food. meat and chips tonight. Like, yeah. Show me kebab. How about, mine's a messy kebab, I've got to be honest with you. We've That's ordered. a mean kebab. It is, but it's a bit bloody messy, isn't it, really? Where did we order from last time? It was a lot better than this, that's for certain. I got it from down the road, didn't I? This is just too much. It's falling apart, guys. Just put it on the camera. And I can't, it's too much for me. You can, just hold it. I've got to bloody pick it up first. Mm. You actually see this, guys? Oh, yeah. Nice big fat kebab, guys. But we've got to get some sauce in there. I've got some sauce. Hiding away over here, we have some fiery mango hot sauce mm. by somebody kitchen. I think it's Pete. Pete kitchen, the deli kitchen. I see. Pete's kitchen. Dolly, Dolly, Doris, chill, man. So earlier on tonight, we recorded a video or two, and it was a what was it? Hot noodle hot challenge. Hot noodle challenge. It wasn't my. It was my. Guest star Tia and Amo. Yeah, and, and she have... did a good. Um, she watched your ass. She did, she was brilliant to eat, but we did introduce Doris oh, bloody and Elsie to our videos tonight, and it didn't go that well, guys. No. Mm. <laughs> Oh, oh, good. That is insanely good. Mm. Oh. Uh, what's it like with the mango sauce? Oh, yeah. Can you try a bit? Yeah. Mm. Oh. oh, wow. We've well, had a drink. Nothing mm. better. A uh, kebab. Mm. That is insane. It's just a shame it's like covered my hands here. Okay. Look, I need like a t-shirt, a towel or something. What a good. Yeah. What happened guys was, mm. we were sitting here just chilling, waiting for the food. And, well let's wind back a bit. I ain't so fancy a kebab. So we don't want to waste money the kebab. Let's just get some food out there. Let's mix it up. So I was going out to the shed for a pie. So I fancy a pie. Well, you have a pie at our fellow thing. Yeah, it's a surprise. A pie. Yeah, baby. Um, I said I'm going to get a pie. I have a pie, so I don't want a pie. So, right, okay. So, I'm ordering a kebab. We ordered the kebab. Mm. Tia, our kid, has a burger upstairs. She's upstairs, chilling, watching TV. And mm. we was watching the Brit Awards from like a week or two ago on the TV, just to pass the time. I don't know what the Brit Awards is. Um, well, in the UK, the Brit Awards is a TV show awarding awards to British artists. British artists, British, British, British artists who sing songs mm. like Umpty Dumpty and stuff. So, Aim was dancing away. I don't know what the woman's name is. The one who did that song. I got my hair down, but my nails. Baby, hang it. That one, that bird, yeah. I was there dancing away to her on the TV. 
not realizing the curtain was open, then the takeaway box said knocking on the window, oh, and it was just there, like dancing away. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. The bloke was watching her. <laughs> <laughs> Should have got some money off for that. Gee, God, this is good. Mm. Mm. But like, you hate it when you order food for a takeaway and you don't get the right food. So we ordered a kebab, chips, kebab and chips, burger and chips. We ended up with a burger and chips. That looks really disgusting like that, you know. Does it? Yeah, it doesn't look too tasty. I'm glad you're all liking it because nobody likes the look of that. Mm. She got her burger and her kebab and chips. The kid, oh, sh oh you know what there is, I forgot it. I'm about, guys, right there. So. Back again. Back again with the rest of the food. Amos back. We completely forgot. Back again. The cheesy garlic bread. Which isn't too cheesy. Well, it, <laughs> it has solidified. So, as I was saying, everyone got their food apart from me. I got the kebab without the chips. So I said, nab some chips off our kid. Mm. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, this isn't how we spend my on Sunday nights. Usually just have a drink and leave the food. Mm. <laughs> See ya. Hey. Eh? See ya. Well, this is really, really good. Doing this channel, we eat a lot of crap. Mm. Uh, I get heart failure at your age. I'll come back to suit YouTube. Seat, seat. Move that out of the way. Mm. What do you have on a kebab? Oh. Keep them playing, I do. Sherry McDonald, darling, we have. Have you responded to her questions? Mm. We have responded to your questions for. After. Would you rather? Yeah. If you take a look at that baby in the comment. Mm. And Freya, thank you so much for watching our videos literally all the time. That is so appreciated. We're definitely getting a bit of a following. This is a mind ball. Mm. That's me done. Don't, don't be soft, it's a bloody muck bang. I can't eat all the summer I'm lost, you sit there and eat nothing. I'm gonna sit and talk. Mmm. What's the point in order, aren't I? Muck bang! Oh, I'll tell you what, I was watching that person the other day again. Oh, I'm not giving no names. You know the funny one, right there. Mm. The awkward one. Jingle. Jingle? Does it have a bit of a jingle at the beginning? Yeah, the one that yeah. we feel all could watch you. Okay. I watched another one of his over there. Or her, I don't know. Whatever. It's a mukbang person, by the way, guys. It's, it's out there. I will not say any names. Mm. I don't know what he's on about. Anyway. Some chips. A little bit of fiery mango sauce. Yeah, baby. If you do want to go and check out someone a little bit original who's <laughs> commented on our videos once no, before, no, no. just go and check this person out. No. Yeah. Mm. I would, because it's bloody interesting. Are you on about Emma? Go and check out Seaside Mermaid or Mermaid Mukbang. That's an interesting one, viewing. Thank you very much, Seaside Mermaid or Mermaid Mukbang. Yeah, anyway. For looking at our YouTube channel. 
That is probably the most interesting mukbang I've watched in a while. Mm -hmm. So, do any of you watch EastEnders? And if so, what do you make of this week's 35 year anniversary extravaganza? Mm. Been a busy week on the old uh, wall food. I'm not going to tell you what's happened just in case you haven't seen it, but my goodness. A lot of shit's happened. If you're not from the UK, you don't know what EastEnders is. It's like friends, but with a lot more drama. Yeah, we're really not organised guys in this video. No, you mean you're pissed. We might have to leave putting this up guys, because this is a very disaster. No, it's after. a full video, it's okay. Mm. No problems here. Mm. We haven't got our tablecloth. We've got mm. our Christmas salt on the go. An odd chip. Yeah, and I'm eating food and you're not. I'm full. I don't know you can drink and eat that. I think we'll definitely leave putting this video up. No, we won't. We definitely leave putting this video up, guys. Whoops. So, we've just watched also a program called Rich Holiday, Poor Holiday. Now, the rich people swap with the, like, the poorer people. Well, it says it in the title, so I can say it. The rich people swap with the poor people. Now, the rich people went, like, gave them a holiday to Zimbabwe, on safari, in a big so rock good. cabin, seeing the animals when they was in the bath, um, barbecues outside, all sorts of beautiful, luxurious things. Now, the poorer people... Cameras over there, do it over there. No, no, there's already cameras out. Mm. Went to the Isle of Man. Right. And then went to, I'm not saying the Isle of Man is cheap because my God, I don't know why they did it though. Um, they went to like a, like compared to that, a seaside holiday, caravans, um, that type of thing. Now, we've been on a lot of caravan holiday, holidays and we believe that, you know, they're good, they're really fun in the respect that, you know, like they can bring your community and family, family together. But my God, that Zimbabwe holiday was good. If you had £27,000, mm. a holiday cost them people. Work pennies, guys, trust me. They're a lot of money. £27,000, that holiday cost them. Well, if we get to that. see lions. Elephants walking past your window. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, this was like... You know, the animals were literally outside your door. Wasn't they? Yeah, don't know. Like so, I mean, you do get that as a advantage point, but. Oh, yeah, in England, there's a few birds. Maybe even a squirrel. The rich people, like the young kids, were saying how much they wanted a normal holiday. And I thought, well, yeah, you know, because you kind of. You don't have to think about so much worries with money and you can be together. And it, and it makes me ask the question, would you rather have a really expensive holiday, the holiday of your dreams and your family wasn't that close, or have a really cheap, cheap, cheap holiday and your family was the closest it's ever been? Because this family, they were really rich. Like the dad was like a certain... Um, he was like a, a doctor type bloke. So, um, specialist for oncology. Mm. Writings to him. Um, they go on their holidays. They were doing lots of family stuff. And he was sitting there saying, You don't feel like a holiday? I don't, why not, mate? You're doing family stuff with your kids that you wouldn't normally do. And he said, We're used to like having like activities for the kids to do so we can just sit on our ass doing nothing. Well, that's yeah, not a holiday. so like the other people could kind of entertain their children. Yeah, it's not a holiday. That they have to have something every day going on, and I don't know. I just think a holiday is a time to completely relax and normal, like from real life, to completely relax and take a time out from every day, different things that you do, just to make things sort of more fun for you and your kids. Mm. Look at him, he's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm laughing at him. 
No, you're not somewhat Excuse that drunk. Me. Oh, yeah. This has got a uh, advertisement. No, for this, drink. this is a um, after hours mukbang. <laughs> mm. It's good though. Nice food. Nice bit of heat. That's not even hot in the slightest. No, it's a bit of heat to the kebab meat because that's the whole point of it's kebab hot, meat. Is he? Yeah, it is. There's peppers in this thing. You can see them right there, the chilies. Well, where's mine then? In the meat, you'd have sod. Give me that tiny bit oh, of red look bit. Look at that red bit there. Can you see that, guys? Probably not. I'm right in there somewhere. There's chilies and shit in that. Give me the red bit then. No, down there, you dip your sod. That's meat. Well, there's a red bit, isn't there? Oh, right there, I. Yeah, but I've got one there. Oh, there you go, it's chilly. Let's do a test. The battery on this is dreadful, you know. Oh my gosh. It's not going to be as hot as the. Oh my god. It's so not hot. Oh. I said there's a bit of heat to it. It's not. There is, though, isn't there? That heat. All right, mouth. Can't handle anything this one. I can't. I love that hot kebab with that one time. You can't do it. Yeah, you did say. Yeah, damn right. You did sort of say. What are you doing? Putting the dirty chip in beyond there. Cheers. Guys, I think we're done here because me and I sent out of here tonight. Me? You? Who's on back there, eh? I'm just, I am, there's my duvet. I am, I am just chilling tonight, guys. I've already done a couple of videos today. We've done three videos now today. We've been busy, busy, busy. Let's get dizzy. And now it's Monday morning now, you know. It's like quarter to one in the morning. But you don't have to talk all the time, you see? I didn't even want to come back. I just wanted some bloody toast. Kebabs, they're the best. Donna kebabs, mix make kebabs, and a mix make kebab for anybody out of England is chicken tikka or chicken meat. Yeah, mixed with Donna kebab meat. And Donna kebab meat is sliced lamb, but it isn't like um, lean meat. It's not at all lean, but it is lamb meat and uh, and lamb. And chicken meat, which is mixed meat, mm. and the lamb meat is mixed with like garlic and herbs and spices. And I'll be honest, it is lovely. The best kebab I've had though was in Spain. Oh <gasps> my god! Oh my goodness! Mm. It's like the best pizza to be had was like in a, in a market round here. That was the best. Hey, the one in Penkridge down the road there. Oh well, yeah. That first pizza. The kebab there. Ooh. It was like. It's not like this, is it? In, in Spain. Different type like, of meat. It was like um. One of those, pummy. Sort of like folded, tacos that you get in Taco Bell, and it all folds into the middle. So that was a German kebab. Put it that way. It's absolutely yes. out of this world. So good. So beautiful, and the meat was like. Brilliant, amazing! If you get the chance to have one of those, we went to Cala Milla in Spain, and oh, it was there, wasn't it? Beautiful. Mm. If you get the chance to have one of those, try one because it is. I am. Maybe saw that four whilst I was there. Really yeah. Tell them what happened with your kebab, Lee. You I'll tell them when I've gone for stuff now. I need to have a rest. I'm done. We do feel a bit like. Too much food, not enough beer. Well, I did wonder. I made him. I said I didn't want the kebab. You said. You said I'm on, gonna do a I'm video. A kebab. I'm gonna do a video. You have to agree to do the video after ordering the food. I said let's do a video. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Peace out, and be nice. Remember to be nice. Remember to be kind, like, share, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bells for any future videos. 
You just told him to piss out. Didn't mean to. I thought you meant to say peace out. No. We are pissed up. Later, guys. Bye-bye.